This is Kyle, a Tursa Sphinx Moth caterpillar. While I was helping tour guide a nature walk around the nature center that I volunteer at, one of the people walking found this caterpillar on the ground. When I saw the caterpillar, I decided to take the challenge and see if I could take care of it all the way until its moth stage. I also had plans to document the metamorphosis process for this video since the beginning. One of the Terso Sphinx moth's favorite plants to eat in the caterpillar stage is the penta or star cluster plant and it's the first thing that Kyle noticed when we brought it into his new home. Oftentimes you would see him in these funny positions going upside down and all that just to get some extra food. Kyle ate away seemingly non-stop at the penta plant leaves for weeks on end. Sometimes I would have to hold Kyle to move him to a different spot. From this angle, because his head is sticking out, you could see the difference between the actual head and the fake head. Despite looking like the caterpillar's eyes, those two big black and white spots on the front part of the body are not actually eyes, but distracting eye spots. As soon as Kyle partially buried himself into the ground away from the penta plants, I knew that he was ready to metamorphose. His skin started to appear less soft and more like a crust. Soon enough, the pupa was done forming. The first few days it was still this green color. But as the pupa stage went on, the pupa gradually turned more and more brown. As soon as the pupa looked like this, I knew for sure the metamorphosis was complete. Kyle is now a fully grown adult Tursa Sphinx Moth. You can see all the coloration through here, but once we release it out back into the wild, you'll really see the coloration popping out in the sunlight. I really love that distinctive wing shape of the Tursa Sphinx Moth, though. He's ready to be released out near the spot where we found him. When taking Kyle out of the enclosure, this is my first time holding him since his early caterpillar stage. I felt its body start to vibrate as I brought it out into the sunlight, which is a natural response to try and dry up the wings from the fluid-filled pupa. The red flower I'm putting it on now is actually one of the adult stage's favorite flowers to drink nectar from, the honeysuckle flower. You can see now the vibrations are getting a little more intense as it's finally preparing itself to take its first flight. There it goes! 